Alrighty guys, welcome back to more <laughs> Shin Megami Tensei Strange Journey Redux. I just hit my knee on the side of the desk, so I apologize if it sounds like I'm breathing very inconsistently. It's because I'm trying to, I'm reacting to the pain and I'm just trying to wait for the relief to kick in. But on the last episode of Strange Journey, we kicked a couple of angels asses we readjusted our alignment and then readjusted it again and now we're neutral so what we want to do is head to the you know we really want to just head to the womb of grief but before we head to the womb of grief we're gonna go check out sector e's area that we there was a gate that i opened but i never explored might lead to another side quest so i guess we'll check it out we're gonna slowly make our way back. Luckily, we're on a high enough level to avoid most of the encounters here. Hopefully it'll be like that for the rest of the womb of Greece. <laughs> the room of Greece. But anyway, we needed to go north here. This was a gate I opened off camera and we didn't really check it out. And there was a demon here, I think, that we could talk to. Oh. That. So I think he was in the center. Yep. Blur, meet, meet, meet. Meet, me, me, me. Oh, I'm not here. I'm not here. You know, you know where me, meat is? Yes. Nice question. This is a story of, of meat. Story very juicy. <laughs> me put meat here. Top class special dinner. But me look away and meat gone. Only bone. Oh, oh, Cerberus. Chill, bro. Chill. Me know who eat meat. It's Orthrus, my brother. He said he wanted meat. Me have favor. Give you mission. You talk to Orthrus. You find out if he eat. Me can't. Me not good at talking. <laughs> but you can do it. You good at demon talk. <laughs> oh. Full eat meat. All right. Let's see if this is a quest worth doing. It sounds hilarious. I think we should do it, but we have to check it out. Dauntless ring might be something good. The heat check to see if he ate my meat. All right, buddy. Oh my God, did it really just do that? Well, good thing I can just walk back. Effort, effortlessly effortlessly basically actually factually i want to do a meme of bruce lee i've had this meme of bruce lee in my mind forever and this meme of bruce lee would basically take the words that end in lee like seriously and then basically and then factually actually it would all just be different pictures of Bruce Lee. <laughs> Seriously, you know? So I think that would be a pretty cool meme. And it's been on my mind for a while that I wanted to make that meme. So if somebody can make that meme, that would be great. I've been wanting that meme for a while. All right. So that was a dead end. Oh man, the pictures actually have to make sense too. Like, seriously, has to have a serious Bruce Lee looking face. Happily, has to have Bruce Lee looking happy. And then basically, like, ba <laughs> Bruce Lee has to have like a basic looking face. <laughs> I think that meme is funny. I think the existence of it would be funny. I think the thought about it, when you think about it, you'll be like, oh, that's funny. It won't be hilarious, ha 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 ha, ha ha funny, but it'll be like, oh, I get it, kind of funny. You just you just post a picture of him. Anytime you say seriously, you just post a pic picture of Bruce Lee's serious face. Oops, I still have high pixie here. I should probably change that. Technically, I don't want to change that. Let's just nuke the field. Oh, you're dead. 
Hi, thank you for the follow. Imagine this game without Bug Omen and God. No, imagine this game without the suppression. <laughs> without the enemy suppression. Oh my god. I would lose my gosh darn mind. And apparently, the only way I can really explore, or really fully explore that area is by toggling um, this sector's fucking alpha bullshit. What's the what's the word for that? Like, there's a terminal that makes the sectors look different. I need to hit that up. And honestly, I don't feel like doing that right now. Oh wait, look at this. Is this a rare form of luck core? Hey, you know where to get luck cores. Well, we're not walking over there. All right, we're not walking over there. I gotta map out. I gotta map it out. Okay, so there's two. There's two ways. Out of here, it seems. Okay, I should probably get rid of poison, huh? We're gonna take our time, get rid of poison. We're gonna get rid of that nice poison. And, uh... Now what we're gonna do... Step into this... Portal after we save it. And if we get warped all the way back out, you know we gotta reload the other field save. Alright, this is good, I guess. Miracle Core, mmm, that sounds good. Yikes. Well, that's another one. This has gotta be like some kind of rare former we've been missing all along. That we just never got that would have been super useful. That's like my greatest fear about games like this. Because it's like I don't want to explore forever because random encounters are a thing. And it's just so mentally exhausting. So it's like half the time I don't want to explore because I'm, I'm going to get exhausted. And... I could be passing up. The, 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 the thing is, I could be passing up really good chests with unique items that would, you know. That could really help. I could be passing up really good, useful items. So we're going to load that again. And go through the other one. Because that one just sent me all the way back. That's always the dilemma when it comes to these type of games. It's like, for me at least, I, lo I love exploration, but a game with random fucking encounters that are just so high. And then it's like, like it makes me not want to explore. <laughs> it makes me not want to waste my time, you know? So I'm like, all right, I don't want to explore. Whoa, this looks like it's leading somewhere. Looks like a one-way freaking door. Whoa, is this old? Is this who I think it is? Is that who I think that is? I don't have that app. That's the thing. People have been telling me there's an app where you can touch the warps on the touch screen and it'll tell you where you'll warp to but i never got that that's the thing i never got that <laughs> Sleptnir has bolted once again it takes after its presenter and its love for pranks oh. a human warrior this is odin right Sate. all father o see here's this funny thing guys so last night i got the urge to just want to roll some demons using my gems and i know you're not supposed to do that i know you're not supposed to do that it's economically just just not worth it <laughs> so in dx2 which is you know the mobile game for the shimmy it's a shimmy tensei mobile game and 
I decided to roll last night and I spent like 500 gems for five different demons and I got back to back I got Loki and then I got Odin which was pretty hilarious to me because that I basically had team Asgard I was waiting for Thor to show up I'm not gonna lie but Thor was like nah fam you don't you actually need real money to get me I think Thor is one of those roles that you need um actual money for i don't know it's, i don't know it's i'm still getting used to dx2 because it's my first gotcha game but i just thought i mentioned that i rolled odin and loki back to back together in uh, dx2 last night though you stand in my presence there is no need for humility be at ease hmm. in truth this works out perfectly could you help find my steed slept near the horse proves pranks and run uh-huh Loves pranks and runs off at any opportunity. Return Slepner to me and I shall acknowledge you, your glory with this ring. Subte. Oh man, I really, dude, this is looking like a really big ring. Subarashi. And I got a really big team. And we do really big things, so, you know, please find my beloved horse. Use whatever method you see fit to make Slepner your ally and return it to me. I have high expectations of you. All right, so... The ring he gives us might be really good. So if we go to... Oops, wrong area. He'll give us the Odin ring. And then this guy. Okay. I still need to get... Oberon and Titania. Black box retrieval. I still need to do that. What else do we need to do? Yeah, we need to go find this guy. All right, here we go. Preparedness. Ooh. And he's got... Ooh, look at that. Deal more damage in co-op attacks. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. This dude... Slap in there. Hold up, man. Hold up. You sound useful. My dude comes with preparedness. Deal more debt. If I give this to All Might, oh my god. Oh my. If I give that to my entire set of demons, we would actually like one shot everything. If we hit a weakness, we would one shot everything. Here we go. So a human is to be my master. I change a pace to be certain. I am holy Slepnir. Subarashi. All right, let me get that Olden Ring, man. Subarashi. Subarashi. It was a gift from Loki. His love of mischief may have rubbed off on it. I must thank you again. A warrior of your caliber is welcome in Valhalla anytime. Yeah. When you breathe your last, keep me in mind. Ho ho ho. Really? Odin's gonna hook me up with a job in Asgard. Oh shit. Let's go. If I die, he's gonna hook me up with an afterlife job. Let's go, fam. I bring that augments the Demonica's life support system to regain MP while walking. See this? Does this affect my entire demons? If it affects everybody, then we basically have a... Damn. That would have been really cool if it affected everybody. Well, I don't know that. I don't know that. Yeah, I do. High Pixie's only... Yeah, she's still only getting one, so damn. That would have been nice if it affected the whole crew. If it did, I would say that ring was totally worth doing. So that ring kind of uh, sucks. It, like, that ring would have been really good because it would have been allowed me to heal more MP than one you, off of my sub-apps. Because we already have sub-apps that heal HP and MP for everybody, but it's like the rate at which it would have been able to recover if it affected everybody that would have been really nice but it is what it is 
So anyway, we're done here. What we want to do is go find Cerberus's brother. That's what we need to do. So we're going to go do that. And I'll see you guys in a few seconds as I go find out where I need to find him. Alrighty, gang. So we are here in Sector Booties. And the main reason why we are here is to talk to Orthros, Orthrus, the brother of Cerberus. And we want to see if he ate the meat. And I don't know if he's actually here or not. The only reason why I'm here is because, well, off... We did a quest looking for Kukulin, I believe, and uh, he was guarding a castle for Kukulin, and uh, I'm not sure if he'll still be here because we did find Kukulin, and eventually he did come back. I, I think he did. Oh yeah, we have a great chakra that we need to give him. So while we're here, we might as well give him this. <clears throat> Bro, you better give me like plenty of money. 40? Okay, that's not bad. That makes up for the amount of money I spent. Subarashi have a bonus Ooh, melcom <clears throat> ring Ooh, you sell me you served me well for a human so is that it first quest line Subarashi. every job i have for you is done you served me well hey Subarashi. he said i did a Subarashi job to prevent strain status and raise mp mm, i guess that's all right if i'm fighting somebody that inflicts strain as a fucking what's the word as a gimmick like only time equipment like that is at all useful is when you need to have protection against that from like a gimmick boss like gimmick puts you on the strain and then he has a move that instantly kills you or some shit you want you would want to have that but for like universally you don't want you don't want status elements like equipment like that that doesn't really matter in most situations most situations don't really call for half of the equipment that we have. So it's like, I find a lot of the equipment they give us in this game kind of fucking useless. Like, even half of the stuff, half of the stuff you make in this game is kind of worthless. The stuff that you get from quests are really good. So you might as well just save everything that you get. Like, save all your resources. Save all your forma for like, I guess like instances and just items that you're gonna use for quests but it looks like Arthurus wasn't there so I guess what we need to do is look it up and see where he's went so I'll see you guys very soon somebody once told me the world was gonna grow me I ain't the sharpest tool in the shit oh look we got him nice I guess the game didn't want to hear me you know sing you know all-star from Smash Mouth the critically acclaimed Smash Mouth song. Huh? What? You watch but no say nothing. Chump told Orthrus about Cerberus. <laughs> uh, that's serious accusation. Me no eat it. Whatever he say, me no eat it. Me might eat other people's meat, but not families. Hmm, wait. I know, I know stupid demon who eat the meat. It Oni. Other day, me go to brothers there, me see Oni. He walking around eat meat. Me not think bite into it almost. What? Me, but me not eat the meat. You tell brother. Well, it looks like I gotta go back down and talk to Cerberus. But the rest of y'all demons, y'all lucky. Because I was gonna nuke y'all. We gotta go get fresh with Oni real quick. So, to avoid any waste of time oh wait speaking of waste of time well i need to go downstairs so this isn't a waste of time so anyway to avoid wasting time we're gonna go ahead and equip enemy banish so we don't have to deal with random encounters also we're gonna go downstairs we're gonna go find cerberus cerberus should be in this room to the left here yep so here we go this should definitely help us out I don't see why it wouldn't. Report to Cerberus. Only ate the meaty meat? Hmm, me try to remember. Think about it, it was an Oni. This is... You go talk with Oni, check if he ate meat. What you gonna do to him if you find out he ate it? Like, most demons don't even try to figure it out. They just go fuck up whoever they think ate it. And then from there, they just have to. 
So anyway, we need to go get into a random encounter with Oni and talk to Oni, who is in the first sector. He's in sector A. And we need to go to basement floor too. So everybody on YouTube, I will go ahead and speed this up for you guys. So I'll see you guys in a few seconds. There you are. Took you like 10 minutes, you asswipe. So we finally ran into Oni. He was ducking. He was just not trying to find us. He was out there eating his meat, beating his meat, all doing doing whatever. And he takes like five years to come out, finally. Like, I remember him being a common encounter down here. And he just wanted to turn into a rare encounter for whatever reason. That just pissed me off. Trump called out the demon. Oi, oi. Yeah, what? You want something for me, dog? Trump told Oni about Cerberus's meat. Huh? Meat? Oh, yeah. I ate it. I got seriously lost, and on top of that, I was really hungry. Dying of hunger in a dungeon is such a wonderer thing to do. <laughs> That's what I was thinking when I saw this delicious-looking hunk of meat. I didn't hesitate, man. They say hunger makes everything taste good, but that stuff would have been amazing anyway. Huh? So what do you care anyway? Oh, so it was Cerberus's special dinner? Huh? Like, I could have known that. And besides, think about how this world works. It ain't strange to see any crazy thing dropped on the ground. Yep, that on there. I know for a fact you've been picking stuff up left and right. <laughs> Shut up, Oni. This ain't about me. This is about you. Okay, don't try to change the subject. So why are you why are you on my case about picking up the meat, man? <laughs> it's natural, completely 100% natural. Mana. Anyway, that's what happened. I ate it because I was hungry, and I ain't sorry at all. You tell Cerberus that. Damn. Hey, bruh. I'm gonna I'm purposely. Hey, get back here, Oni. Come on, RNG gods. RNG guys, let me run into Oni real quick so I can uh, teach him a lesson. I really want to teach this man a lesson. Please let me sleep him. Oh, yeah. What's good, Oni? What's good? What's good? What's good in the hood, fam? Yeah, lump his ass up. Uh. Uh, lump him up. Yeah, you shouldn't have ate that meat. You shouldn't have ate that meat, cuz. Shouldn't have ate that meat. Shouldn't have had me go around Axe of Cerberus, Orthrus, and yo dumbass where the meat was. Yeah, we don't play that. Have me running around looking for your ass for 10 minutes. You deserve to die. All right, so we are back in Sector E. We're about to go deliver the good news to your boy Cerberus. And we should finish the quest, hopefully. If he has me do anything else, I'm going to be upsetty spaghetti, okay? Cerberus, he ate your meat. So you're going to reward me, right? You check? Only eat meat? So only eat me meat. Okay, say same as wild. Me fall for not guarding meat. Plus, on stupid weak losing. <laughs> no point getting mad. Me not mad. Damn, he called Oni a weak loser. Me blame Northrus. Me not have no beef with Northrus. Me, he no eat meat. Okay, you demon talking again. Apologize, or man. I don't care if y'all both talk the same. Y'all should easily be able to understand each other. This motherfucker wants me to go randomly get into an encounter again. Randomly. Waste more of my time, Cerberus. I swear you're going to be the next person I strike in the head. So I guess we got to go to the top floor again. And go talk to Orthrus. Alright, that didn't take too long. Not ten minutes long. We found Orthrus. We're going to talk to him. Tell him his brother does not have any beef. Literally, are you done talking about me? Me see, but me not care. And while fighting over me happen all the time. No one can survive if you freak out over every little thing. Tell Cerberus. Me no remember time when Cerberus apologized for. Cerberus should be Cerberus. Act big all the time. So Cerberus the big brother? Is that big bro? Or are they the same age? They're brothers. Who's the older one? 
Or did they come out at the exact same time so they're the same age? Hey, it's the shawarma guy. That guy looks very interesting. Nice, he hit all three of them. Even though the dude in the middle resisted it, it was good. If I have to go back to Oni-chan, I'm straight gonna throw my 3DS. I'm going straight to the final dungeon. <laughs> if I have to talk to Oni, we just beating this game. How about that? Bro. Kapow! Punched him in the stomach. Oh, my stomach! <laughs> Alright, so... Cerberus, let's go. Oh, come on. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I'm like, why are there so many encounters? And then I realized I still have it on. I still have the... I done lost my mind, man. Oh my god. Missed the first one, but we landed the second crit. That was great. No, 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 you don't need yep, that. Dude. <laughs> this dude told me not cool, bro. Like, not cool about what? What's not cool, my guy? That I made, I let you make a smart decision instead of a dumb? Let see, he good brother. And pass, me forget it now. You do good job, help me. And like brother said, me Cerberus. Next time we might be enemy and eat you whole. Bruh. Dauntless ring. Oh my god. That was useless. Useless. And I still have this sub app on. Please, Robert. Robert, please wake up. Get some. You lumped everybody up. Into Mabufudine? Why not? <laughs> hey, Mama Rising. No, that's a dumb choice. What are you gonna do with physically? You magically based, bro. So, what we are going to do... After, oh my god, I still didn't know... Um, damn it! Okay, I promise I'm gonna do it here. Alright. First things first, we're taking off this. That's the way to... Y'all seen this? Like, if I don't have that on, man... Oh, Mega Claw. <laughs> Still keeps leveling up. Anyway... I need to... Not be dumb. Give me enemy, enemy banish so I don't have to spend eight years in... Battles. I think that's the toughest part of this game, is the endurance you must have for just going through the maps. So, what we're going to do in the next episode of Dot Hack Sign, no, I'm kidding. On the next episode of Strange Journey Redux, we're pretty much going to, we're going to be going into the womb of grief. So, I'll see you guys next time for some fun.